Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Fram high performance oil filter number HP19. And a viewer whose name is Stephen Wright from Longview, Texas sent me this oil filter. Thanks, Stephen. And this filter was in service for 3,200 miles and came off of Stephen's 2016 Chevy Silverado. Yep, the one with the 5.3 liter V8 engine with only 63,700 miles on it. We'll open up this filter and see how it looks. So let's get started. This is some You got a glue gun silicone, be nice and tight. You get your inner here. Filtration is right here. Okay, let's take a quick look at this oil filter before we open it up. The date code 16348AF, product of USA. This is sticker. And it also says on here, made in USA. She has six inlet holes. Looks to be a silicone any drain back valve. Metal core louvers. Bypass valve down below. And nitro rubber gasket, which it's hard to grab it with these gloves on, but it's on there okay. Pretty thick. I'll put that to the side. All right, and let's open this filter up and see what she looks like inside. There she is. Okay, let's start with the any drain back valve. Yeah, it all looks good. Nice and flexible. Springy. Yep, nice. Gets over the holes nicely. Yeah, that all looks good. Okay, yeah, filter element. Yeah, you drained it pretty good also. A little bit of oil in there, but that's not bad. And Steven said he's using a Kendall Kendall motor oil, OW20. Liquid titanium GT1 Max. Okay, let's look at the filter element. And I'll put the number of pleats right up here. And here's the seam, glued seam looks like. Oh, it looks nice. Nicely spaced. Yeah, no excess glue really. Well, right here a little bit, see it there. That is some kind of hair or something, something there, but that's I don't know what that is. It could be a shaving that came up the uh, side of the can. That's what it looks like. Metal end caps. It all looks, this all looks good. This has a micron rating of 94% at 20 microns. And the media is a low restriction synthetic blend racing media. Okay, bypass valve. You got the little screen here. And this has a setting of 18, no, 16 to 28 psi. And the can we see. Let's get some measurements. The last time I opened up one of these, I got 0.55 from, yeah, 0.57 millimeters thick. It's a little thicker than average. 0.4 to 0.5 is about average. It's a nice thick can. Feels thick. Okay, and the width is 
2.70 inches wide. Okay. Yeah, so far it looks good. Filter looks good. Um, I'll squeeze it out, stretch it out, and see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, here she is stretched out. And she's 56 inches long. Clean filter media. Okay, let's get a thickness on this filter media. 0.74 millimeters thick. Let's look at this up close. I wanted to mention that Steven said, I asked him about his oil pressure, if it was any higher with using this oil filter, and he said he thinks it was a little bit higher. But let's get down low to this and see, see if this filter caught. You know, it's pretty clean. There's hardly any soot. And I only found one little sparkly on this whole filter. So, let's see if I can see if it's magnetic or not. Get this straightened out. Okay, and it's right there. Nope, it's not magnetic. If it was, it would have just picked it right up. I don't know what it is. Very tiny, whatever it is. But yeah, the rest of the filter is really clean. Yeah, it's real clean. Yeah, his engine's running real clean. So let's look at the rest of the filter. Okay, one strange thing I want to mention is the date code on this can. Look at this date code, 16348AF. And I'm going to put a video of, I opened up the same oil filter about five months ago, a new one. And it has the same date code. The only thing is it has a different timestamp. Um, I find that kind of uh, an odd coincidence, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, it's strange. But I'll try and put a little video clip of it up here. And we got the bypass valve. I got a nice screen here. Silicone any drain back valve. This is nice. Kept its shape real nice. You got this is all nice and strong. Center core, metal end caps. Yeah, it's all good. Good uh, base plate. Got a lot of grooves there, a lot of threads. And gasket's thick also. It looks all this all looks nice. Yeah, it's just the can kind of strange that uh Got that same date code. So again, I want to thank Stephen for sending me this oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Friday, I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care.